Hello. Today we are discussing Zend pagination, which allows us to paginate a long output of data. What Zend paginator allows us to do is to split a set of data taken from either some array, DB select or DB table select instances, and split it into pages, so many records per page. So we're going to use Zend Paginator to paginate this set of books. Uh, now, the problem is that we can't do it at the moment because this result is populated based on the object of our custom model, library model DB table books, while the documentation says it requires either DB select or DB table select. Uh, so we have to rewrite the output of the books to coincide with uh, one of these instances uh, and I'm, I will be using uh, uh, DB select. So I'm going to create another model that will allow me to select a database with uh, more control. Uh, and I will call it list books.php uh, and in there I'm going to create a class library model list books with a public method list books and I will make sure that this uh, function returns an instance of db select. Now, last time we queried a database, uh, we conveniently relied on the extend then db table abstract, uh, which picked up all the database configurations through resource.db. Uh, other uh, then db classes require an instance of uh, then db itself which can uh, be stored in a registry, for example, but uh, you can also include a special line inside of application.ini, which will allow any uh, ZenDB-related class to use the database without explicitly telling it where to find the instance of ZenDB. And uh, this parameter is called isDefaultTableAdapter. So this will make sure that I do not have to uh, point uh, s explicitly to a ZenDB instance. It will be done automatically. So now we're ready to work on our list books model. Uh, to be able to use ZenDB select, we are going to need to get an instance of ZenDB, and we are going to get it from ZenDB table get default adapter and now we're ready to use uh, zendb select uh, which we're going to put inside of select books and we want to select from books table in a database now uh, I'm going to return that instance of ZenDB select at this point, at the point where it creates the query to uh, grab all the books. Uh, and now I'm going to create an object for this model inside the controller uh, put it in a variable uh, book list and I will grab an instance of zendb select by calling list books method now it's important to note at this point that none of the books are actually selected this simply prepares a SQL query uh, for Zen Framework to use uh, wherever it needs that query. It's not the actual book list yet. 
And now we're ready to create an instance of Zen Paginator. I will put it inside the variable Paginator. And Zen Paginator accepts a parameter which is another instance of Zen Paginator adapter. And we'll see the list of adapters in a manual. Um, and as I've noted before, we are using adapter db select. If you have an array prepared um, that you want to paginate instead, uh, you can uh, select a paginate adapter array or whichever one suits you. Now, um, And now we're going to set some parameters. Uh, first I want to tell it how many items to display per page. I do not have much data so I'm going to go with a small number 3, 3 items per page. Uh, then the paginator needs to know where it is located at any given time, so what page is currently being viewed and it is done through set current page. Now how does it know where it is at? Um, it will get the information from the URL. So we're going to get the page number we're at through getparam page and the default is 1. Now what this means is that it's going to get a variable from the URI called page and it's going to get the value for, for it but if there is no value, if there is no page set, it's going to create a default of 1. Uh, so just to show you what that means uh, I'm going to comment this out so it doesn't interfere. Uh, basically If uh, I just do that, then I can say page 4 and see it, it prints out 4 at this point. Uh, and if I don't include any page, it doesn't return anything. So by default, if there is no page parameter set in a URI, I want it to say 1. So now even if there is nothing up here for page, it is going to display 1. Okay, and now we are going to apply this paginator to our view. So now that we got the paginator inside of our view, uh, we're going to display it. Uh, we're going to go to list.html and instead of iterating through books, we are going to loop through the actual paginator. So the paginator is the variable that has all of our book data. And it's in an array format. Uh, so now we're going to see only the books relevant to whatever page is being called. 